Hello geeks, this is Sai Prakash and in this video we are going to solve secret cipher problem. It is given under day 11 of a 30 day geeks for geeks coding challenge. So the problem statement goes like this. So geeks, uh, geek, so sorry, geek wants to send an encrypted message to his friend. So he is going to apply a cipher uh, algorithm and in that so and he is going to encrypt this message. And in order to decrypt this message, his friend has to read uh, all the read the uh, encrypted text from left to right and whenever he finds uh, asterisk right so he has to remove the asterisk and replace it with all the characters that he has read before so if you can uh, see this example right so let's say if uh, there is asterisk between c and d right so so here so in place of a b a b c there is asterisk you can see it's an easy observe that uh, this a b a b c is exactly same as uh, this a b a b c right so so he has already read this so again uh, again when uh, he's seeing the same text so he's going to rep replace it with asterisk right so this is how the encryption and decryption works let's now try and solve this problem and uh, you can use brute force uh, for solving this problem but uh, that uh, since uh, the problem expects us to solve it in uh, big of n right so brute force is not going to solve it in big of one and even we are going to get time limit exceeder in some cases Yes, uh, so we are not going to solve it brute force. We are going to solve it by uh, by something called as the longest prefix and suffixes. So, uh, what do I mean by that? So, so since I have an array, so I'm going to uh, pass this array once using a helper function, and I'm going to generate an array, so which will be of a same length, and each index uh, is going to store the value, so value of longest prefix or suffix because both are equal, right? So in our case, we need them to be equal. So longest prefix and suffix length is going to be stored at each index and based on that we can apply some uh, check, checks and we can uh, generate uh, the encrypted text. So let's try and solve this. So I'm, I'm going to use uh, VS code as a text editor for this and uh, yeah let's try and solve this problem. So first of all uh, let's come to the main function compress. As I said we are going to use uh, longest uh, prefix and suffix array. So I'm going to call a uh, helper function here. So self dot helper and I'm going to pass our given text as a as a parameter. So let's implement this function here itself. So I'm going to define a helper and uh, it's going to take self as default argument and s and uh, now it is going to return me an array right. So let's uh, let's also create this array. So I'm going to call it as uh, longest prefix sum prefix and suffix and it is going to be uh, initialized with all zeros and and it is going to be of length of s right and you are in the end we are going to return this lps only true and we are going we need two pointers that is l and i and we are going to initialize them with zero and one and and also there is a beautiful article in our in geeks for geeks uh, regarding how to generate this uh, uh, longest suffix and prefix sum uh, th that is going to be uh, linked in the description yeah you can you can you can check that out uh, for in depth of how, how this algorithm works right so since uh, we have initialized this right so we are going to run a while loop while and this while loop is going to run until uh, i is less than n so while i less than n so we are going to run a loop and we are going to at each index uh, we are going to check whether uh, these two elements are equal or not so we are going to do if uh, s of i is uh, equal to s of l right so if that's the case we are going to append uh, we are going to increment l, l with 1 and we are going to assign lps of uh, i with value of l and l is also going to be up, up appended so i plus i plus equal to 1 so we are up, we are uh, incrementing i and we are incrementing l and we are also uh, uh, we are also assigning the values of lps at, at, at index i because uh, we have a match right so we are uh, at, at uh, the character at i index is uh, matching with character at l index so uh, in the else condition again we have to check two conditions right so what if uh, uh, l equals to 0 Right. So if L is equal to 0, then we can simply say LPS of uh, L is 0 and uh, we can uh, push the pointer as well. So I plus equal to 1. So this is the exit condition. And if that's not the case, if L is greater than uh, greater than 0, then we have to say L is equal to LPS of 
in place of its previous sum so l minus 1 so it is going to take value of its uh, previous uh, value so if i return uh, return lps then this should contain uh, all the lps values so uh, let me just print it out uh, so that we can we can understand what exactly lps is doing here okay so let's run this so for now we are going to return uh, something here so we are going to return s and let's call this function so print sol solution and i'm going to call compress on uh, let's uh, call it on uh, example one right so let's see if we have any errors or not till this point n is not defined uh, yeah n is not defined right so n is equal to length of s so yeah so we are able to generate this array right so now you might get a doubt you know what exactly are these numbers right as i said this is the longest prefix and suffix at, at each index so let me uh, just uh, explain it to in a brief right so uh, you can observe this uh, given string a b a a b this right so look at 10th index that is uh, at index uh, last but one so the value is 5 so if you observe this right so the particular string associated with that is 5 right so now if i uh, cover five uh, numbers that is a b a b c so you can observe that this 5 exactly matches with this 5 right so this is a prefix and this is the suffix right so this is what is array is so it is going to store the values of uh, longest prefix and suffix that is exactly equal so that because that is what we want right so we can also observe it so at third index the answer is one so right see okay, you can see uh, at this uh, string so the prefix is of unit one length one the the prefix is a and the suffix also also a that's the same thing with all so at uh, index uh, three that is fourth element so uh, the length is 2 the suffix and length is 2 you can observe that the suffix and prefix are of 2 and a b and a b right so this is the this is why we need to calculate uh, this longest prefix sums right so this is uh, this is how we are going to calculate that and once we have these values in a compressed function so so our answer is uh, we are going to initialize the answer with a empty empty uh, string so let's uh, start by iterating through the string so for that i'm going to initialize an uh, i so i is going to be n minus 1 that is last index so we are going to uh, no do the encryption from the backwards right so let's uh, let's run a while loop so while while i is uh, greater than 0 so we are going to uh, do this while i is greater than 0 so until it gets exhausted right and we are going to check at each index uh, whether if it is uh, uh, even index or odd so the importance for doing that is so if i do i percentile double equal to zero right so if i percentile 2 is equal to zero that means that the index is an even index so then uh, if the index is even the length is going to be odd right so let's say if uh, the index is six right so the the string is going to be present from zero to six that is uh, length is going to be seven so if the length of the string is uh, odd then there is no chance that we are going to divide into two exact halves right so in that case we are going to there is no possible uh, for uh, encryption so we are going to simply add this uh, index that is add this character to our answer so answer plus is equal to s of i and we are going to uh, move our pointer backwards so i minus equal to one and we are going to continue out of this loop for this particular iteration right so if that's not the case right so in the else condition that is uh, in the uh, in the in the cases where the index is odd uh, then we can we can uh, we can say for sure that uh, the length of the string is even and uh, there is a chance that we can uh, uh, perfectly divide it into two so here we're going to check for the condition whether they can be encrypted or not so for that uh, i'm going to know uh, uh, I'm going to initialize our my suffix and uh, substring length. So suffix is going to be a of i, since we have already calculated all our suffix lengths, right? And uh, substring is going to be sim uh, is going to be i plus one. So if I'm at i ninth index, then my substring is going to be zero to nine, that is uh, length of ten, right? So 
now now once we have that the, there are a few conditions to check no kindly bear with me so the conditions are like this so if uh, uh, suffix twice uh, into two so if length of uh, suffix uh, twice the length of suffix is greater than or equal to our substring length right so this is the first condition that we have to check and apart from that there are again two conditions that is uh, we have to also check whether if our substring is uh, perfectly divisible by substring minus uh, suffix right so if it is equal exactly equal to zero or not yeah so and again there are also again the one more condition we have to check that is if uh, if our substring that is when divided by uh, substring uh, as we did we were right substring minus suffix is that uh, an even number or not right so if i do percentile 2 double equal to 0 so if that's even then there's a, uh, a chance that uh, we can uh, no do the encryption so in that case i'm going to uh, initialize a flag and i'm going to say this flag is going to be true so that is uh, we can do the encryption and uh, i will initialize it so by default this flag is going to be false sorry flag is going to be false right so as we have generated a flag right at this point we can simply check whether the flag is uh, true or not so if flag if flag then we have our answer and we can uh, we have our uh, we know that we can encrypt right so we are going to take our suffix and we are going to encrypt that so i am going to append my answer with uh, star that is uh, and, and i am doing the encryption and once the encryption is done we are going to reassign our pointer so our pointer i is going to be assigned to i by 2 plus 1 right and and uh, if that's not the condition so if a flag is uh, false that is in the else condition so there is no chance of uh, doing the encryption so we can simply append our answer with uh, the exact uh, exact character so without doing the encryption only and again in that case we are again going to move our pointers so but in this case we are going to move it back by one and once we are coming out of this loop so let me just print my answer here so let's uh, see what the answer is uh, till this point and based on that we can uh, see that so since we are doing it from the back right so answer is going to be uh, okay we are in the loop so answer is going to be so yeah okay oh yeah i i minus one has to be outside the loop because we have to uh, decrease this at each point right so this is how we are getting it and uh, okay there was a typo over there so it is not float this was a flag so if flag then uh, let's try and run this once once again so yeah now we are getting uh, b c d star d right so now we can simply uh, reverse our answer so since we are trying to do it from the back right so we can reverse our answer and if i reverse then i'm getting b star c star d right and you can notice that a is missing because a is at index zero but our loop runs only i greater than zero so now i can simply return what s of zero and plus uh, my answer in the reverse right now now if i save this and run so yeah we are getting this answer so a b star c star d so this is exactly what we need so now now uh, so for let's let's try and submit this uh, to try and submit this to our geeks for geeks uh, portal and uh, i'm going to copy this and paste it here and uh, we can we have to eliminate this and uh, let me compile this and yeah we are getting a right answer here let me submit this yeah we are getting error our output is zero zero okay so yeah uh, we have we have uh, pre we have to remove all the print statements right so i have forgot to remove the print statements okay now it should work 
this output is nice yes so that is satisfied so this is how you have to solve this problem this is a rather hard problem as it mentioned so it is hard but uh, the the thing that you have to understand here is that uh, we are using uh, longest prefix and suffix uh, at each index to solve this problem and we are going to check the conditions right so uh, we have to check whether when can we uh, divide this uh, string or not when can when can we apply the encryption algorithm or not so in that cases uh, if you are able to handle that then we can solve this problem yes this is a hard problem and uh, yeah it so they say that average 30 minus 30 minutes but uh, it takes more than that so if you are uh, if you have already solved this problem if you are a veteran then it's not problem but uh, if you are an average coder like me then it's going to take a lot of time like so i hope uh, this video is uh, helpful and uh, you learned how to solve this problem and uh, yeah i will be linking this uh, a nice article about uh, generating uh, longest prefix suffixes in the description and uh, do check that out and if you like this video please uh, give a thumbs up and uh, uh, subscribe to geeks for geeks uh, and thanks for watching have a nice day